What's up guys and welcome back to another episode. Well, so today guys, today's video is shad fishing. The shad have showed up. It's interesting because this is the earliest, well, since, I mean, I haven't really been fishing Richmond for that long, but this is the earliest they've ever shown up for me. Now, the first one that I hooked was on March 4th. I know it's a couple days after that, but I didn't have enough footage to make a whole video, so that's why I'm filming it today. But yeah, let me roll the clips on that first one that I hooked up on for this spring. Oh my gosh. First one of the year, first one of the year. I forgot what it feels like to catch one of these things. It feels great. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. There it goes. Oh yeah. That is pretty. Yes, sir. <laughs> Quick release. Oh, yeah, I'm in Walgreens, by the way, getting cough drops. Still feeling a bit under the weather. Of course, as soon as I get in there, I'm like coughing and stuff, and not a good time to be Asian with a call. Side note, side note, I did go to the doctor. He just said it was seasonal allergies. Cough drops it is. Cough drop. So we have two main purposes for this video. One being showing that the shad are here. The hickory shad that is. American shad might be another couple weeks. And I wanted to show you that that simple rig that I made from that last video, just the gold spoon falling behind like a inline weight is all you need to do with a steady retrieve. I'm gonna prove that and show you how easily that can catch these fish. What, what? No. Oh. Yes, I know it's beautiful back here, but why am I so upset? I'm upset because I left, <sighs> I left my weights. How am I gonna show? Oh my gosh, I got one weight, three fours out. So great, I'm already doing what I said. Complete opposite of my video to have a variety of weights to select from, but I have one weight, one chance, <sighs> M&M. All right guys, there it is, my one weight, two feet back, going down to the gold spoon. I really don't believe, $25 in weights, and I left them at home. <laughs> Oh my god, first cast, first cast. All right, slow, steady retrieve. The water clarity today is beautiful. Like, it's the clearest I've seen since since I've been out here, which was March 4th when I... Oh, had that first one. But see, just a slow, steady retrieve, not doing anything fancy at all. Generally, I don't like using three quarter ounce at this area. What can you do when that's all you have? Idiot. Really? Okay, well, all right, I've really got to get this off because this is my only one. Feels as if it's coming. Be real gentle with it. Oh, there we go. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, still got it. Still got it. That would have been horrible. First cast. Oh, I'm sure that y'all see this is not my normal rod. This is actually a rod that's kind of being loaned to me. You guys know what my green Berkeley trout rod looked like. I'm going to put a picture of it on the screen right now. But I left that at the boat launch or the parking lot at Ann Caro's. So if anybody happens to find that, if they want to return it, I'll give you something for it. I don't know, but there's just a lot of memories on that rod. That rod's not worth a dang thing. So let me get that back. Let me get that back. Well, been fishing for like an hour. No bites, no nothing. So I might have to switch spots. Three quarter ounce weight with the gold spoon. And I'm going to go a little bit deeper. No action yet. There it is. Finally. I think I got him on this time. I set the hook a little stronger that time. Yeah. Yes. First one of the day. It's a male. Low steady retrieve. Three fourths ounce. Gold spoon. Kind of want him for bait, but I'm going to let the first one go. Come on. I 
did it. I wouldn't even. Here, come under me. Three quarter ounce gold spoon. That was a cool bite. All right, guys. Well, I didn't make an outro for that day of fishing, but hopefully, I proved that all you got to do: is slow retrieve, wait, gold spoon, catch these fish. Fishing's been really like inconsistent. We've had days where we've caught maybe three or four, you know, in a couple hours, but it's just been inconsistent. So try to put the boys on some shad. Day number two for Cameron, trying to get him on that fish. And number seven for Zach. <laughs> Who is that little boy on the camera, man? Little boy, you know the, you know this little boy cam? Hey, little boy, why you come up over here? We don't know you. Talk about you. What? Who are you? All right, big cast, buddy. Nice. Good job, buddy. There you go, slow and steady. What do you do if you feel a bump like that? Yeah, or pull it, pull it straight back. Whatever you want to do. Didn't work out. Wait, come, come to think about it, when we did have the boys fishing with us, Ryan's son Joe had a fish, but what happened? It out. Oh, Joe. He lost it. He lost it. Now that we know that the spoon and the weight works, I'm going to move to a different part of the river where it's a little bit shallower and I'm going to be throwing the dart followed by the spoon. We're going to work on that, get down there, and maybe hopefully we can break the dry spell. It's been like, well, actually, I caught one yesterday. I caught one hickory shade yesterday. What the? So I'm at the spot. The wind just decided to pick up something crazy. It's raining a little bit, but I don't know. The I put a little bit more weight. I have the, ah, ah, I have the dart. Get off! And then the shit. The spoon. But it's just it's really difficult to fish right now. The wind is just blowing so crazy. It's just I can't can't get it to where I need to be. And not to mention this. This right here, it usually flows when it's flowing out. You usually see all this stuff going down this way, going up that way. That's rare to see and it just, oh man, I don't know why, but it smells extra bad today. Like <laughs> extra doo-doo. Uh -uh. But I'm gonna keep fishing for a second here and see if I can't get something before I leave. I'm, gonna, I'm about to go back to the other spot. Oh, hell no. What? Yeah, this might be a little sketchy. Uh, okay, I don't want to get hit by a twig. Let's not do this. Sorry guys, I really wanted to get some more or less jigging with the dart and the spoon. It's a little more enjoyable to me just because you're working a little bit hard. There's more technique involved to catching the fish, but I'm telling you that that smell of the bathroom ugh, and then twigs and branches and mother nature just throwing stuff at me. I, I'm gonna go back to the other spot. Yep. <laughs> he hit the silver spoon. He's a little fighter. Oh, he's a he's a chunky one. Come up here and let's see that belly. Oh yeah. Yes. Change locations. I'm here and silver spoon this time. This is that three-fourths ounce that has still not been lost yet. Hope I didn't just jinx myself. Got a fish. Got a fish. He hit it. Yep, that, that is in there. Silver spoon, let's get some more. <laughs> I gave Ryan my rod. It's got that good juju on it. First cast. Oh, there's a... See him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Reel down, reel down, man. <laughs> what are you doing? You break the rod. <laughs> got baby tarpon. That's not their damn baby tarpon. <laughs> that was three fourths ounce with the silver. Wherever it there. Is. Give my rod back. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up. Uh, put a lot of time, a lot of days into fishing for the shad, trying to. Get enough footage to make a video with a couple fish in it so i did it it's time to switch it up time to go throw some baits go for something bigger i know i was talking a lot about the 
three four silence and the gold spoon i mean if that's confusing to you and why i was talking about it so much it was because the previous video i made a video on how to make that rig which is very simple check that video out i got other shad videos from previous springs uh linked below in the description but i appreciate the sport like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and we're gonna have more james river stuff to come hopefully the salt water starts heating up start doing that too but all right guys well i'm gonna go cut up these uh these baits go get them in the water all right y'all later <laughs>